What's up boys? Today I'm going to check out the 1.0 full release for Rungor, an action-packed card-based roguelite I believe. Oh yeah, it's also sort of an auto-battler, your dude just runs along and attacks stuff. Hello? Running forward is cool, but you know what's even cooler? For example, cold-blooded murder. Battles happen automatically, so don't worry about them too much. So we automatically fight now, and then I believe later on you will get some cards down here where you can play various active abilities for your dude. Oh hey, the cursed deck dropped some cards. Awesome, you can fix some of them for the next battle if you feel like killing an enemy isn't enough. Hero attacks an opponent, times three, or armor. Uh, I guess that's a little bit more unique here. Oh, we can get two cards. Oh, three total actually, okay. So I guess I may as well play the armor. Add a couple of cards for you. Use as many cards as you want. Turn your enemies into a bloody mess. Grind their bones to dust. More blood for the blood god. Notice that your health went up, heal 20% after each fight. Because if you're starting artifact, every hero has one. It tries its best, so be grateful. Mr. Huggles. Oh, hey, look at this. This teddy bear really wants to show you all of his stats. How inappropriate. I will move this window so it doesn't distract you. It mutilates you if you play a card after 5 seconds gives up. So, I guess you just let it fight out, but if you are into it, you can just drag your cursor to the right side of the screen. Maybe I can play that before the fight? Bit of extra survivability. Oh, he has 54 attack anyways. Wouldn't it be cool and not read opponent info I see? Lol. But I literally played around that by not playing any cards. Let's say you won anyway, because why not? Beat 100 enemies, stack 1,000 or 10,000 armor. Next. It's a me. Stopping time again just because I can. Want to see something awesomely cool? Click this. Oh, this one. Oh my god, just look at all of these. Ability to wear equipment for only one, one monies? That's a steal. Congrats. Now you're even more prepared to murder. Okay, bye bye So we have no gold left. We can get more card choices. Card sorting, playing cards with number keys. Oh, that would be very handy actually. Bullet time on right mouse button. Communism. So I believe there's actually a lot of different characters you can unlock in the game, but currently we only have Night Guy. Maybe get some of them through these quests, or maybe I'll just get gold or something, who knows. So we have just the jungle for now, a forgotten road and a forgotten forest. No one remembers exactly where it leads to. Expected income, 58. We've got armor and mark. Oh, hi, Mark. I guess I actually want to take a bit of damage. Let me turn down the music volume slightly. That is a bit loud. And then I probably want to take a bit of damage since I'll be automatically healing anyways. That will be 10 HP each time. Yo. Is that an equipment piece you found? Equipment is just like cards, but it stays with you until the end of the level gives a permanent effect. So not like cards at all. Increases attack by 1, 3 to 5, so that is a pretty solid increase. Mark is 25% more damage. Attack speed for 6 seconds. 
free attack slows down the opponent by 10% for one second. That's not bad. Is that equipment as- oh, that's a weapon equipment, it looks like. Four armor upgrades after each play, that's cool. One attack, my average is four, so that's a 25% increase. That's pretty big. And I guess those probably don't stack. I'm assuming you can have one for each of the different equipment slots. So let's grab the attack speed increase. Oh, buffs your attack, monkey. So I want to be playing that one as much as possible, I suppose. Oh, wait, no. I want to play it when I can actually use the survivability. I can still almost fully hear, heal here from the artifact, so that's fine. While you were running past some shady characters, they managed to sell you a loot box, but which one? Free cards. Mark. Attacks and applies mark. Three cards. Increases attack. Upgraded armor. Blows up after 10 seconds. Let's see. I do a 5 average every 1.5 seconds. So it would take me about 6 times that or 9 seconds to kill him. But you could potentially low roll every time. Let's go ahead and do like one weak damage increase to make sure I have the damage for that. We've got a helmet with a big HP increase. That's not bad. And a bunch of attacks. Here's some enemy has no abilities, 0 to 24. So he could potentially kill me in like 3 or 4 attacks if he high rolled every time. But I have a ton of cards ready to go and some extra armor. Let's use the mark stuff early on. And then attack speed. Let's see, armor, mark. Where's the attack speed? More armor, another mark in case that fell off, more attack speed. Armor gain is increased by 100% or mark target takes 50% more. Those are both pretty good. I have quite a bit of healing from my artifact, so let's go with the damage here. Three cards and applies mark, current armor the end of battle and some armor. 100% attack speed, but 50% more damage. Slows down the opponent by 30%. That's pretty good. Let's see, that's a 25% damage increase, and that won't be up the entire time. So I think mine is slightly better. So it's 1.5 second attack time. Applies mark with each attack. Is that another boss or just the next enemy? Or at 2 out of 2. Okay, I thought it would actually end at the boss there. 3 damage, that must be a regular enemy. I think I'm just free to auto battle here and then heal up with the artifacts afterwards. Or wait, he's actually doing a lot of damage. Oops. A bit late now. Increases max HP by 30, small increase. Next attack card will be played three times. Gives you bananas after death. Let's go ahead and put a mark on him for the extra damage. I might want to. Well, I'll probably want to keep the armor for something else. I'll toss that one out. Increases attack for 4 seconds. Free attack cards. Stuns enemy for 2 seconds, marks them. Already have better. Armor card of enemies is marked, gives another. Gives armor, an armor. Blows up after. Let's see, I do 5 average, so it'll take me about 9 attacks which will be around 13.5 seconds. 
So I will need some decent damage increases here. I guess toss this and then a mark somewhere. That should be enough. Boss, the Pacage. This fearsome enemy has no abilities. I have that. If he has marked attacks once more, so I have two combos with marked I need to try and use here. And I have a bunch of armor stuff. Gets armor. Here's preserved. Where's my marked stuff? Where's the stuff that depends on marks? Has armor equal to something? Can I. Where's my double armor thing? There we go. Stack 10,000 armor. So, can I unlock anything new now? Let's see if there are any quests completed. Nope. More car choices, sounds good. Oh, I could have maybe gotten something here. Drawing an attack card gives a bunch of armor, that would be pretty good. But they're a bit expensive, marked to a random enemy every few seconds. I wonder, is this per character or for all of them? Because this stuff seems to synergize with the cards I've been getting here. Oh yeah, it shows you over there. This one is Night Guy, this one is for a bunch of different ones. This one is for two characters, it looks like. How do I go back to that place? Oh, you can see the base cards, some of the better ones you can get. Attack for two seconds is a legendary? That must be a lot of attack. If you don't win, you will die. <coughs> oh, you can drag it? I... <coughs> okay, here we go. So we've got two new places. Expected income 90. Two attacks and an armor, two damage. That should be fine to auto battle. Okay, you can even see the encounters up here. Three cards, and we have more choices now. Attacks an enemy gives an attack card. That sounds cool. Uh, I want mark for a difficult enemy. And then maybe an attack buff. Raises attack by three with each card played. So we will probably want to auto battle him. Three attack is a pretty large increase for him. Why does my attack... Oh! That's the random roll, you can see what it is there. One of the voices in your head, is this game too difficult? Let me help you a bit. Replenish your HP, faster attack speed for three, or plus one damage. Uh, let me take the longer one, I think. You are filled with determination. Three cards, attack slows. Attacks an enemy and applies mark, armor. Enemy's mark gives another. Let me get an equipment here. That sounds cool. Armor leech on your attacks. And then maybe two armor cards if I mark something. So I have five average. That will be about five hits. That should be pretty easy to just attack down. I suppose I should be ready to use an attack in case it gets super close. Boss Gargoyle, no abilities. 10 damage with a 3 second cooldown. You can get a decent HP increase. Stun's enemy for 2 seconds is not bad. And then I might want another mark. I think I have one currently. So 
so I want to instantly mark and use that. Where did my cards go? That's probably enough to finish him. I can toss that if necessary. And an artifact reduces max HP by 30% but restore 4 HP with each attack. Not bad. Block applies mark to attacker and deals damage equal to hero's attack. Activates when armor blocks an incoming attack. That's actually really cool for an armor stacker. Orc target takes 50% more. I think I'm gonna try the Thornsy thing and try and stack armor now, that sounds cool. Attacks an enemy and adds armor equal to damage. Armor leech, a bit more HP. Let's grab both armor. T two attacks, an attack and a card is decent. But I might just take the HP just in case. It has a random effect to everyone. I might want to save that to combine with other stuff though. Oh, he healed himself. That's kind of rough with the random effect. Help to bury or dig out. A very angry monkey ran away leaving his shovel behind. 20% chance to stun the enemy. Key probably for opening something. An armor card. Fight start, increase attack by 4 for 1 second. So you basically get 4 extra damage and any instant attack cards will be much more effective at the very start. That's pretty good, but it's kind of hard to use. This would be good with the armor on attack thing. I think I'm almost out of armor cards. Or almost out of mark cards, so I'll want to have one of those for somewhere. Let's go ahead and toss one on this guy. Attack for four seconds. Gives armor, doubles current armor. Mark for every four armor you have, interesting. These ones are kind of hard to use because you have to generate a bunch of armor first. So it's kind of like a boss only thing, I feel like. So I'm probably gonna take the more versatile ones. After five seconds summons a vampire. So there's no way I'm killing that in time unless I use a ton of cards. But I have no idea what a vampire does. 40 HP is quite a bit to kill in 5 seconds. Let's use one armor card. And do I want to use anything else? Probably not. The block and thorn stuff should be good enough here. Gets 4 armor and upgrades. Doubles current armor. Increase attack by 4 for 1 second. I'm thinking probably just three armor things here. I think these will, two of these will actually average to the same as that, since it looked like eight on the second play. And then I'm getting close to the boss, so I might actually want the double armor here. One damage, I'm not sure how much he steals. But I can probably just auto him down with the stun effect I have. Maybe toss an attack to speed it up a bit.
doubles his damage with each attack, so we have to burst him down pretty quickly, which I am not really built for. Attacks an enemy and adds armor equal to damage. I think I have a mark. Adds armor equal to damage. Let's see if I can pop some buffs and then use the armor leech stuff afterwards. What else do I have for that bit of attack there? I want to use the mark and the attack buffs very quickly here. Let's see, where's my armor stuff? Double the armor, add the marks based on armor. Great. Oops, should have used that earlier. Oh, that wasn't even the final boss. Oops. Reincarnation with 50% once per battle. Our target takes more, or doubles your attack for the next floor. Well, I think there's only one floor left now, right? Since that was the second boss. Summons previous enemy after death? What? Armor. Gain some armor and attack speed. Enemy is marked, gives another. Upgrades after each time played. That would have been kind of cool early. So it summons another boss? That sounds insane. Wait, he has 80 attack? What? What? How do you beat that? What? He just one-shots you. You need to save up so much burst that you can one-shot him instead, maybe? That seems insane. I can't even afford anything off of that. Am I supposed to grind the earlier levels or something? It just seems kind of insane. Let's try it again. Maybe I just got super unlucky there. Your left post card is acting up. What are you going to do? Uh, it was an armor card. So I don't know that it actually does that much. Turns into a different cooler one. Applies mark, gives mark trigger card. Bit of HP. These marked attacks once more. Attacks and gives an attack card. Don't really have any specific build path yet. Stronger with each attack, but maybe not. Um, he probably won't get that strong even with just auto battling here. I'll use like one attack if he ramps up too much. He still has one attack, so I should be fine. Attack. Attack speed. Attacks an enemy gives an attack card. I like those so you can get some extra stuff from them. Has a 25 chance to stun his opponent. Zero to four damage. Might want to use a little bit here just to burst him down a bit faster. So the free attack seems to use your current roll. So you might want to wait for a high roll to use attack cards if possible. Enemy has no abilities. attack when I'm on 5 damage. I do need to use a few more cards here since he's pretty strong. Probably should have used that earlier. Oh well. 
Oh, you actually full heal after the boss is okay. 50% more, reduces HP, but you reach. Chance for attack to crit. Next attack will do 100% more. That seems really strong. So that should be around 50% more damage then. Bit more HP. Attacks and gives an attack card, adds armor equal to damage. And then I guess I may as well get the HP increase. It also scales up my healing with the artifacts since that's percentage based. See if I can get a big attack roll and then maybe attack him with the card just to speed up a bit faster. If I get any good rolls here. Nope. An intelligent looking zombie offers a game of Russian roulette. Yeah. Bam, zombie shot himself. I just really like this game. I can't stop, says the zombie. You want an artifact. 25% chance of block damage? That's kind of insane. Choose three cards. He's marked attack once more. Let's try the key then. Applies mark and gives a mark trigger. Seals HP with every attack. Let's speed this up a little bit. Where's my mark trigger card? You might only be able to have a certain number of cards on the screen, I'm guessing. Every attack slows. I don't have a weapon yet, so that would be useful. Eight is pretty good armor. Stun is pretty nice. I don't really have that many on hit effects for this run. Defeat him on under 5 seconds to get a bonus event. Let's see, it will take me around 10 times that, so 15 seconds to beat him. So I'd need to over triple my damage to guarantee that, which sounds like an absolute massive waste of cards. And also kind of unlikely, unless I roll a crit with that and then use some big damage on top of that. Let's see, my best bet would be to mark him and then use some big attacks. I can try it, I think. I have one card here, okay. So I want to mark and then use some big attacks if I get a decent roll. Six is pretty good. That should do it. Money, cards, or shovel? Shovel was an artifact last run, wasn't it? Oh, that thing. 20% just stun an enemy. Armor makes you lose it after 5 seconds. Big armor increase, though. Mark, mark trigger. Ah, uh, that would be pretty good for a boss. That's 2 cards overall. And then maybe a stun. Doubles his damage after with each attack. So I want to CC him or burst him down as fast as possible. So that he doesn't ramp up too much for the gravestone. So I want to mark and do a ton of damage and stun him pretty quickly. Big damage, stun him. Apply another mark, stun him again. Defeat mark to deal more damage. Block applies mark to attackers. So I think this is the final floor again, so doubling attack should be pretty crazy. Plague Doctor. I don't have a boot slot yet, so that's not bad if I can burst at the start. Upgrades after each time played, but I haven't been getting those very often.
Let's toss a mark on him to speed this up a bit. Got some big damage now. Especially at the very start. Free defensive cards. Tombstone. So I guess I did just get lucky or really unlucky last time where the tombstone was right after the boss. And I didn't know how that interaction worked, so the boss was just massively ramped up. One time upgrades after each time. Marked gets twice as much. Let's go with the big attacks. And then I guess that. I don't think I really need to use much here. It's going to be that Spike Doctor who is pretty easy. He is healing himself a lot. Doubles current armor. Every four armor. Increasing attack would be very good here. Stun is pretty nice. And I guess a big armor increase revives after death. Eight damage, so he's going to hurt a bit. I want to use a card here, maybe a stun. Wait, what? He constantly revives, huh? What? Revives with lower stats, so you need to burst him down early on. Increase attack by 8 at the start. Benny he is marked, gives another. I kind of need some more mark generation for this fight, I think, but there isn't really any. I guess try and get that while he's marked. What do I have in my hand currently? Do I need to play this? Only in battle? Gives armor. Uh, I don't actually have any mark generation here. That could be bad. And I'll want to do a lot of damage at the start. Random bullshit, go! Ooh, I got a bark. Do some big damage while the bark is up. Do I play this? I have no idea what's going on right now. But I have a ton of armor. And his stats are getting very low now. Guy is unlocked, bow guy. Guy is unlocked, hungry guy. We got a quest finished, it looks like. Oh, I can't do anything here, so I guess the rewards are automatic. <clears throat> Gets dodge for playing cards. Where is Hungry Man's? The more HP he has, the faster he attacks. That sounds cool. Can I see like their decks and stuff? Stores HP applies maim. I can't see what that does from here. Two cards but deals damage to you. So you have 108. Playing cards with number keys sounds very nice. I'm gonna try that out, I think. 
And I think I'm gonna try Hungry Man's. Smells like sewers, plays like it as well. Hero will suffer from radiation. Stuck in radioactive slime. Tell Slime that she looks pretty today. Slime is flattered and ready to help you out in battle. Radiation increased. 2% attack speed for every HP. Can I see what radiation does? Passively throughout the run, I guess? Through any defense. Okay, that might have been bad then. Stores HP. Summons a trash slime to fight for you for one battle. Okay, that was probably not worth it then. Maim is increased incoming damage by one. Four damage itself increases attack speed. Covers four HP at the start of battle. That is for the boots. One is actually quite a bit when I'm dealing two to four. Might be good to have one of those for a difficult enemy and then some healing probably. Stronger with each attack, but maybe not. So it ticks down and then deals damage to you. It doesn't seem like the damage is that bad, so maybe it just speeds it up. And I get four at every, the start of every battle. Some very sus looking tentacles are hanging out nearby. Tell them a joke. Tell them they are cringe. Tentacles are ashamed and went to hang out somewhere else. Next battle is skipped. You decide to irradiate yourself to gain superpowers. Spooderman, Patman, realized that this was a really dumb idea. Give me them Spooderman powers. Radiation increased, so I guess I'm dead. 10 radiation for almost nothing. Stores HP. Makes hero attack when he takes damage for 4 seconds. I guess that actually kind of synergizes with the radiation then. Got some decent heals. Random effect to everyone. Let me try out one of those here to speed this guy up a bit. And then I'm going to top up my HP to keep my attack speed high here. Broken Nuke applies radiation, so you'll want to kill him pretty quickly because he will permanently increase the damage you take from the run then. Increase max HP by 10, but damage hero for 10. So that's a permanent boost for this guy with a bit of a downside. Yes, that would be good to use at the start when I comboed with that. And then maybe a maim to speed up the fights. If I can go 9 and then 8. Oh, I should have used that first. Oops. I can't use that one for the key for some reason. Oh, I probably should have used the slime. Oh well, it's kind of late now. Lots of attack for radiation you have. Okay, well, maybe that will pay off. 30% of max HP after fight is pretty nuts. That's These are all insane, depending on how good that is. Incoming damage by one for every attack that I do? That just sounds nuts on an attack speed stacker like this. I'm not sure how good that is. But that will massively ramp up my damage. Attacks and restores HP. Triple attack deals damage to self. And damage to hero. Attacks deal HP for 4 seconds. I can recover a bit more throughout the run permanently. HP restore is pretty nice. And I guess some lifesteal. Muscle, brain, or heart tumor. Give me the muscles. Damage inc is increased, but so is radiation. Two 
cards, deals damage to me, some healing stuff. 1 HP every second plus 1 for every maim on enemy 6 seconds? That is nuts combined with my other artifacts. I guess try the two cards. And then probably just some healing. Eh, that's a decent attack and not that much less healing. Doubles your radiation with each attack? Jesus, I already have so much radiation. So I probably want to try and burst them down. I guess let's do a trash slime and an extra attack. I can use one of these and then a heal attack after that. So 177, I guess. Oh, I didn't get anything after that, oops. I thought I was going to move over. Maims all enemies. Another healing based on maim. Applies maim to hero and restores HP. That's a lot of healing. If I can save that for later on. So that the maim doesn't do too much to me. Actually attacking is pretty good since that applies an extra maim stack. Triple attack. May as well. Applies poison with every attack. Damage every 1.5 seconds equal to the amount of stacks, then lose one stack. Let's like use that thing and then use one of these to kill him a bit faster and get some healing. Ditch all clothes to get out, kick Slime's ass. Tell Slime that she looks pretty today. That probably discards some of your equipment, I would think. Come and get it, punk, says the Slime. Restores HP when he takes damage for 4 seconds. 20% chance to apply extra maim? That's insane here. Hero attacks when he takes damage is not bad. Maybe a bit of healing to go with that. Immune to poison. Uh, let me toss like an extra maim on him. And then I think I'm fine. Two cards, increase max HP. Attacks at 30% chance to apply maim on the sword. Well, this build is getting pretty busted with maim. Upgrades with each use. And I guess just some more HP so I can stack up a lot of maim. Attacks after getting hit. Let's toss that out for the extra HP. Do a little bit of healing here. Attack twice, supplies maim, some healing stuff, let me get a bit more healing, and then maybe one of these, let's see I'll probably want to use one of these to heal up a bit, raises damage by one after getting hit. Let's do like this early on, and then one of these. Actually, this will combine well with this. So, two, and then I guess this would move over to six afterwards. Two, six, and then like three should work for one of these, two, six, three. Oh, there's a little cooldown on the card there. Okay, and that should do a ton of healing. Let's see, max HP by 10. I'm fine with that. Applies main to hero and restores HP. Attacking and restoring HP is pretty good. Two cards, maybe. If I could get the permanent HP increase, that's kind of good.
Maybe at the end of a fight. Let's see, what do I want to do here? I could probably save that. Oh, a poison for every radiation stack. No, he is going to kill me very quickly. I'm going to need to use everything here, actually, then. I'll want to save that for a little bit later. And I'll want to attack him a lot early on to stack up the main. So, this one and this one very early on. And then this one as well. Oh, he actually got bursted almost instantly, wow. I guess the full main build was kind of nuts, Jesus. Oh yeah, you don't need to click on any of those. So I'll probably try the Archer Mans next. That's that guy. Attack speed. Can't afford that. Is there anything that I can afford that would work on him? Doesn't seem like it. That's kind of weird. Why is it all for like Night Guy and then like one or two others? Oh well, I guess more car choices. Gets dodge for playing cards. The world is dead, but capitalism is still kicking. Expected income 155. Treasure chest 1000 HP. Hey, you encountered multiple enemies. I suppose the time has come for you to learn a secret ninja technique. You can choose your target. Just click those wimps and see what happens. Okay, bye bye. Dodge, and next attack will do critical. Attack for six seconds, dodge, random card. Applies poison, attacks and applies poison. Every three attack applies one poison. And then this sounds good since it will allow you to play two cards, so my bonus dodge will be up a bit longer with that. And then an attack plus poison, sounds good. Random effect to everyone. Probably want to use a little bit of extra damage here. Maybe the attack and poison thing. Oh yeah, I don't even have any healing on this guy. Whereas the other two had a lot of healing actually. A wandering NFT merchant. Sounds like a good investment. Invest all cards. You only YOLO once. Coolio, see you next floor. Poison, attack and poison. Applies poison upgrades after each play. Crit damage by 25%. I feel like I'm about to die. Someone's abandoned after eight seconds. Try and kill him as fast as possible so he doesn't summon. Random card, crit damage by 50%. Do you have any base crit chance or is that just from cards that generate it? Probably the random card. Isn't that just better than that? That affects your next attack and that's a free attack that does crit damage. Stronger with each attack, but maybe not. Guess I'll probably play the random, see if I get anything I want to use there. Use it right before he attacks me. Attacks his opponent and gets dodge. I'm kind of running out of HP, so I better use that. Minigun Gobbo. Fast attack while ammo crate is alive. Attack speed. Fight start gives you crit two times. 
random poison card. And I guess some attack speed to go with that. And then I'm going to want to sequence out my cards to try and keep my dodge up for a while here. Oh, he... Wait, I had dodge up there, didn't I? I was using my cards right after one another. That guy seems like a much harder to play hero with no healing. Let's do a second run with the Hungry Mans and see how that goes. Maybe we can do something a bit different here. Max HP. Attacks have a chance to apply main. And I guess probably some more healing. 25 chance to stun an opponent. Use the HP increase. Probably toss a main on him to speed it up a bit. Keep my HP high. Attack speed up. Filled with determination, relief, realization that there are other spells in this world. Plus one card pick for three battles. That's pretty good, wow. An extra three cards total. Battle start recover bit of HP. Attack speed. 20% for every maim on enemies. I don't have much healing yet, so I'm not sure I really want to be damaging myself right now. Let's toss like a maim on him and then put the attack speed. Eh, uh, those guys are pretty weak. Probably save them for now. Maybe use the healing here to keep my attack speed up. HP is not a lot. Can potentially help you with that if you can heal back up. And I do get four cards anyways. I guess Maim is pretty good with the attack speed increase. Summons a bandit after eight seconds. Let's toss like a regular main and then the double attack on this guy I think and use my healing. Regular main, attack twice. So that he can't get the summon off. Minigun Gabo. I can get a bit more HP. I do still have four. Attack center stores HP. Then maybe a regular attack speed increase. So I'm going to target the ammo crate, use a regular attack speed, then go in the boss and use maim and the maim attack speed, I think. And I want to heal up quickly with these. So the ammo crate's dead, I'll use those to burst down the boss now. Thirty-three percent chance to make a bonus attack is pretty good. Card after every twenty-five HP is lost or gained. That's actually really cool for this guy. Cool gain for killing enemies. Nah. That is pretty interesting. If I can get some more healing, then that could give me a lot of extra cards. Max HP by ten. Consumes an enemy or half of a boss. What? Tax steal HP. 
recover 4 HP. Um, I have two more floors to go, right? I can't tell. So this will do at least 12 healing per floor. That will help me sustain some damage. End it after 8 seconds. I don't have a lot to go with that. Can increase my HP a bit. Actually, that probably wasn't a good idea. Let's go ahead and use that to get it down a bit faster. I might actually need to use this so I don't die. I also need to keep my HP fairly high as well. Well, that was kind of a bad order to get the helmets in since I wasted two of them if I grab that. Attacks and restores HP. What if I do HP seal plus a triple attack to heal up a bit? Maybe that combined with them? I'm not sure I can really use that without a lot more healing anyways. So I'm going to increase attack, life steal, and then do a triple attack to try and heal up. That is a very bad enemy to try that on though. Oh, there's a lot of them though. Maybe I just use it here. Okay, so we're back up to 80, and now my attack speed is higher due to the Hungry Man's at least. Attacks have a chance to apply May, might have a better version. It does give permanent HP, it does hurt quite a bit. Resets attack timer when a card is played. Ooh, that's pretty rough. Applies Maim to all enemies. I think I'm going to take that and then some healing and just auto attack this guy, I guess. And hopefully my main will carry. Most of my cards won't give 8 damage worth of value here. I guess that kind of would. It's about 8 damage and has a chance to apply maim. And maybe another of those. Oh, I could probably use one of those. Actually, I'm just full HP with massive attack speed right now. Bet 20% gold. This casino is cringe. I have 50 gold, which isn't really that much. Call those guys cringe. You stole a deck they used for blackjack. Card rarity is randomized during card pick phase. Interesting. Six HP. I still get some decent value out of that. Increases attack speed by eight hundred percent. My damage averages to three, so I'd have one third damage, and then eight times that would be over double my current damage. Max HP by 100 for five seconds. Sounds interesting. Every five HP lost or gains? That sounds cool. I need to combine that with like Life Leech and some big attack buffs, but it could be very strong against a boss. Raises everybody's attack by one for every sheep on the battlefield. So I might want to do some attacking and healing at the very start. You can probably toss one of these. One of these and maybe some attacks. That's seven. Seven, six, 
first some of those guys down. Shotgun guy. Buffs his alley's attack speed by 200% after death. Can I see the other one? It doesn't look like it. 30 HP, eh. 10 damage to hero. Ooh, I can increase my back speed HP even more. Then these are pretty good. I do have one chance to main, but it will take a bit to ramp up. I do have pretty high attack speed at least. And then maybe that to go with it. Let's toss that. Oh, I need to be going for those guys first. Let's use some life steal here with some. Oh, he did 40 damage to me. Okay. Well, that was not good timing to use my self damage then. Card potion. Artifact unlocked. So that was close to the end then. Whoops. Man, that actually could have been a pretty cool build too if I didn't mess that up right at the end. Oh well. Block increases attack speed by 50%. Wow. I have to try out some of the equipment at some point, see how that works. If it's just a passive bonus, that's pretty insane for the night guy. But yeah, pretty cool game. I like the action-based combat where there's actually a real-time element to the game and you can actually influence the combat. Pretty cool twist on auto battlers and deck building. Pretty cool game overall. That's the 1.0 release for it. There's, I believe, a lot more characters you can uh, unlock. I think there were at least 10 different characters and they all seem pretty unique. You know, armor and mark for this guy, using your cards and a sequence to try and dodge your enemy's attacks with this guy. He definitely seems a bit harder to play than the others with limited healing. You have to be very reactive to the enemy's attacks, watch their attack timer, and then play a card right before that. Hungry guy, pretty cool, where you can do some self damage and then get a card based on the damage you take. If you get that one artifact, that looks like a pretty cool run, but fortunately messed it up a bit towards the end. But I think that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.